Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the Replicate on Components bonus tool, which I'm sure you can find many use cases for. Here we have this cylindrical component and a screw. Say we wanted to place a bunch of screws around the border here, we can actually do that quite easily with this tool. Let's go ahead and open up the tool, head up to bonus tools, edit, duplicate on object. With the screw or whatever object selected, hold down the right mouse button on the second object and go into a component mode. In this example, I'm just going to use face. And then I will just go ahead and shift select some faces. And these are going to be the ones I want to duplicate onto. For now, we can just leave the duplicate mode to copy and let's just leave it to just orient. Cool, so now we get a copy on each of the selected components. And if you want to make any adjustments, you can select all the duplicated objects and in object space, make changes to the transforms. Anyways, if I go ahead and undo that and change the duplicate mode to instance and just duplicate them again onto the same face selection, you can see that now if we make changes to any of the meshes, that's now going to be instanced across all the duplicates. Another nice thing is we can change the method. So we just tried selected, but what if we changed it to random? Sometimes doing this causes the tool to shut, but it seems we're okay this time. Once we've switched the mode to random, you can see we get more options and we can specify the number of copies and what components we want to randomly distribute across. So let's just select verts and edges too. Shift select the object and hit the replicate object button. This can be a nice way to randomly scatter objects onto any component of another object. I think that pretty much wraps up everything. Be sure to join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers and check out my Patreon for access to the members only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons, come chat with me on the Discord, and I'll see you in the next video.